We're back. We didn't go anywhere. Straight from the Ice Age. Coming out the freezer. Just a couple of cool dudes. Cool cats. Oh, I have to revive some Pokemon. Uh, Hanging out it. and chilling. My Pokemon's a little hurt. Um, okay. You should put some of them on ice. Oh. Ooh. There we go. This one. I need um, a revive. You're gonna be fine there, champ. There's this one. It's okay, we're going pump you full of chemicals. <laughs> Here you go. Some for you too. Back. Okay. Now my lineup. I should have who? Hot dog first. I mean, it's an ice type gym, so you know. Slot Pokemon. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's heat up this ice. I mean, I know what's going to happen. It, isn't it funny? Like, think about it, right? If you use a fire type and you use, like, too many fire types, it turns the ice gem into a water gem. <laughs> you know, I never thought about it like that. But shut up. <laughs> She's got style. I am Melanie's. You can clearly see I've assembled a team of nice type Pokemon. Uh, I don't see any Pokemon. You, you aren't sore all over from falling in the hole or two, are you? Even if you are, uh, I'm not gonna hold back. <laughs> She's like, are you hurt? Good. <laughs> that's, that's what the pit traps are for. How did you get out of those holes? <laughs> you just slip on the ice. Ow! <laughs> yeah, like the, the whole... Stadium is made of ice. You are challenged by gym leader Melanie. Frostmoth. Ooh, that's a cute one. Mm -hmm. Go, hot dog. Yeah. Fight and fire bang. Fight. Munch, 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 munch. Yeah. Your moth is forfeit. <laughs> I've eaten it. It's gone now. Uh, this moth is cold. <laughs> what is that? That's a Darmanitan. A what? You know. I don't know. It's a Darmanitan. I have no idea what that thing is. I'm telling you, it's a Darmanitan. Well, it's dead now. Yeah. I put it six feet deep in the ice. Our uh, kitty bear wants to learn aromatherapy. Forget an old move. Uh, <sighs> this move never misses. Okay. Uh, get rid of the razor leaf. Razor Leaf and Magical Leaf are the same thing, right? That one is a physical, one's special? Yeah. Okay. See, I'm learning. There, now you can heal burn, poison, paralysis, sleep. I get paralyzed a lot. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. What's so funny, guy? Uh uh. That is not. Nuh uh. Uh huh. That's not a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. That is not a Pokemon. That's a straight up Pokemon. Are you kidding me? No. That's just a penguin with like a. Uh... What? Come on. Nuh uh. Yeah. No. Is it a joke? No, that's. that's no. The thing. Yep. It's a reverse 30. <sighs> this is. No. I mean, I think it. I think it looks better without the, the face, like the ice cube on its face. But the, they, the they could have made the head underneath more penguin-like. Or if it was like it broke and it was just the actual like block face. <laughs> just the, <laughs> no head. It explodes and it just falls over. <laughs> A Lapras. Yeah, um, you're gonna. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to Dynamax, and then I'm going to burn it. 
So, I was always under the impression that Lapras was a water type, not an ice type. Maybe it's yeah. water ice? Um... Let's use our Pokedex, shall we? But I'm not gonna do it now. Hey, oh, Pokedex, what the fuck is a Lapras? Dear Pokedex. <laughs> oh, see? You can do it too, but I'll do it first. Well, you'll do it first, but I'll do it next. You should do whatever it is. Oh, why has it got the music on the That's worrisome. Oh, because it's got the... Is this the Giganta form or whatever? <laughs> the Gigantan form, yes. G the G <laughs> All right. So, did you just check Animax hot dog? Was I not supposed to? Uh, is it a bad thing? Time? Uh, did I screw up? No, you're good. You're good. I hope. I hope so too. <laughs> Your tone sounds worrying. No, I'm just. Every other Pokemon on the team was probably better better equipped to handle this than Hot Dog. Uh -oh. Oh, he's at a big disadvantage. Yeah. I'm gonna say that Lapras is a water type, huh? It is a water type. Oh man, and it's raining. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man, he is not gonna do well. She's like, oh my Pokemon are ice type, and I'm like, but Lapras is yeah. water type. Yeah, no. Lapras, is, uh, Lapras is faster than my Pokemon too. Lapras is water and ice. I'm gonna use Max Drake. Maybe I can get myself. Nope, I'm not fast enough. Not even close. Oh man. Oh, poor hot dog. Oh, he's hanging in there, though. He's hanging in there. Come on, buddy. You got this. You just have to hold out for one more turn. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Oh, man. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, Ooh, you dropped its speed. You might be faster. Fight. Max, Max Flare was kind of doing it. But Max Strike is my fast move. Well, if you use Max Flare, uh, she might change the weather again. Use Max Flare. Let's roll the dice. Yes! yes! Outspeed. Yeah! Sunny. Rainy. <laughs> Sunny. Rainy. <laughs> People in the crowd are like, oh, stop! <laughs> Make it stop! They see them like they take their coat off, they put it back on, they take their coat off, they put it back on. <laughs> That's okay, hot dog. You rest up. You did a great job. You did great today. You made Poppy proud. Time for that follow up game. Now that I know your type. Come on, Cork Tank, one hit. Oh yeah, she's done though. Now it's Tiny Lapras. Fight and just use Volt Switch. What's it do? It send it uh, it attacks and you go back and switch Pokemon again. Uh oh. <laughs> no, you spark. I want to get this done with. I want to like shabam. Yeah. It's another one in the books. Do, 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 yeah! Oh, don't act surprised. You knew it was coming. I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'll be more like falling from here, right? We're like a million miles above sea level. <laughs> <laughs> Splish splash. <laughs> you, you're pretty good. Of course seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but... To meet someone so young with such ability is gr quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. It's cold. It's an ice cube. <laughs> I was right! It's just an ice cube. <laughs> it's just an ice cube. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. Who's her son? Gordy. Who's Gordy? He's the this town's gym leader. F, you're playing the other version of the game. Oh. Yeah, there's a couple gym leaders we um, don't get to fight. Because they're in the other game? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Ice uniform. 
Yeah. It's just a figure skater outfit. <laughs> ball guy, did you see? Did you see ball guy? I did good. I did real good. Praise me, ball guy. Oh, Sonya. That battle was brilliant. The gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Chirk, 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 I got some things to talk to you. I want to talk about. Um, so, talk restaurant. To celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Oh. Okay. But where's it at? Sonia? Just, no, just keep going that way. This way? Yeah, just keep going that way. Just keep going. Keep going. Right there. Is this it? Oh my god, how did I miss this? <laughs> I love it! Yeah. Do I get to meet that guy? No. Aww. I mean, you've met him before. He's your uncle. Man. Oh, of course Hop's here. Got that gym badge. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. <laughs> Bob's in the corner there. Wait, hold on. <laughs> She's like... No way! What's this? Bob was the champion of old? <laughs> Bob was Galar's original king. <laughs> it's like a tapestry of, like, Bob, and then, like, you look over it, and the sword and the shield are hanging on the wall. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. A new chapter in the old Galar legend? An absolutely fantastic poster. <laughs> yes! Exactly! Bob, with his brilliant smile, must be part of the legend! <laughs> Wait, what do you want about? Don't confuse me. <laughs> the heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? What picture? <laughs> An end to the legend? Was Bob really sword and shield? Was Bob the weapon in the darkest days? Bob was the catalyst. <laughs> Based on those statues we saw black, uh, back in Stow on side, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokemon, right? And Bob was their trainer. Mm. Either the sword or the shield. You met them? Yeah, Sonya was awesome. Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Dex? In the slumbering weld. Weald. Weald. Exactly. The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think it could have been it? Oh, that's right. You ought to have been in the slumbering world. I just want to point out that my guy in the background there has been holding that ladle and just staring at us. He's like, he's like, you kids are pretty awesome. <laughs> he's like, yeah, like, Bob spent like three grand on that tapestry when the restaurant opened, and we've been trying to catch up ever since, so like, you want soup, or... <laughs> We're running a special today. If you buy three bowls of soup, I won't kick you out. <laughs> if you buy something, I won't have to make you leave. Fascinating. Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Kirk 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 Let's we inspect didn't, the hero's bath. We didn't even eat. There's nobody in here that's eating. Where's Bob? Do you have any idea how lucky you are, kid? You get to eat. Bob's restaurant. <laughs> the one and only. The hero of Galar. And you, do you have any idea how lucky you are you get to make food in Bob's restaurant? I want to point out, though, also, that Bob is on the bottles of ketchup. Yeah. That is attention to detail. Do you, do you have any idea how lucky you are you get to be owned by Bob? Is that pictures of Bob up there? Like his family? Those old black and white photos. I think so. I've never noticed those before. Look, that's that's Bob's diploma of flavor manufacturing. It looks like the the um, card you get for becoming the Pokemon champion. So Bob may have been a Pokemon champion. No way. Is there like Bob lore? Hang on. Cause that looks like it. That's his yeah. first restaurant, and he's got. I wonder, I wonder, okay, let me spin you a little a little yarn here, okay? So, Bob started in a sleepy little village, right? And in his Pokemon travels, he learned uh, cooking and camping, right? And it became his passion. So, like, 
on his journey, he became like, oh, he's like, I'm more interested in food than Pokemon, but like, he's like, I'm already halfway through this journey, so I gotta finish this journey, right? So, after he finishes it, he becomes the Pokemon champion, and like, like, he's like, he retires, and then like, goes to like, a uh, uh, culinary school, and then like, he's like, you know what? He's like, me and my rival, see that picture right there? That's probably his rival. They open a restaurant together. And, spin it even further, right? So, uh... Go on. Oh my god, yeah it is. But, uh, so, the, even that, that his rival there, that, that rival, that's a girl. He falls in love with that girl. Because they open a, uh, they've been, like, battling each other since they were kids. And then they used to open a restaurant together. And then, fast forward to now, those two, twin sons. And you want to know how I know those are his kids? Look at the fucking hair. I'll see you guys next time.